I would urge anyone considering an EV to be really mindful of their own driving needs. Will it fit into your lifestyle? If you're doing a 60, 70 mile commute, that may not be a fit. But if you're doing a five to 10 mile commute to the office, it may work for you. Usually the standard features are an electric battery that's always under the floor of the vehicle and it's more like a skateboard, which is standard across the industry. Some of the electric motors are set so low that you actually have a front trunk in some of them. The other thing is a charge port, usually on the right front fender, and it'll take either level two or level three charging. Level one is the outlet at your house. It will take almost all week to charge from a 120 outlet. With a level two charger, which is basically the equivalent of a dryer, you can usually charge one of these things in about two, two and a half hours, get up to 80%. On a level three charger, we're talking 20, 18 to 20 minutes and you're up and running. I usually try to find a level three charger for fast charging on the road. I'll plug it in and within 20 minutes, I'll have 80% charge. In that time, I can use the restroom, I can make a phone call, I can check my email, get a cup of coffee, stretch my legs, and get back on road. A few years ago, when the first EVs came on the market, it had a range of about 90 to 100 miles. Now the typical battery in these things has a range of 160 to 220 miles, which means that I can drive from Atlanta, Georgia, to say Montgomery, Alabama, and have about 40 miles of range left. These batteries are getting much more efficient, getting better with more technology. The cost for charging an EV can vary depending upon who your electric provider is. I always recommend some of these apps that are up here to help you find charging stations, and quite often they'll tell you what the rates are. It can vary, it can be a dollar a minute. A few months ago, I took an EV from Atlanta, Georgia to Savannah, Georgia. It's about 240, 250 miles. Whole trip, round trip, cost me $34 to charge that vehicle. If you're gonna have a home charging unit, charge at night. Usage is down on most electric systems. And that way you will save some money. You want to know how fast it goes? Well, rather than telling you, let me show you. Let's hop in and go for a ride. If you like the thrill of the sound of the acceleration, gasoline powered car is wonderful. But if you want something that's quiet and quick and efficient, this works. I like these because they don't make a whole lot of noise. They're not polluting the air. And one of the other things that I find that people don't realize is the instant acceleration. Let me give you a quick demonstration here. Push the E-step. Yeah. You can pick up 30 miles an hour real quick in this vehicle. And when I get to that point saying, oops, I need to charge, I just do this. And that'll help me find stations, charging stations. The maintenance on an EV, basically you're gonna worry about tires and maybe uh, checking your air conditioning system to make sure that it has enough charge in it to keep it charged. Other than that, there's no maintenance because there's no oil change, uh, there's no generator. It doesn't have to be lubricated. All of that goes away. Most of these vehicles are coming with a warranty that are good for five to 10 years. So if you have a problem within that time, you just take it back to the dealership, they'll be glad to uh, work with you in terms of warranty work to get the battery replaced. Most EVs, including this one, are bi-directional. So that say the power goes out and you need to keep your refrigerator going, you can plug your house into this to run your refrigerator and basic utilities. Hey, thanks for taking a ride with me. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something. See you on the road.